Anyone can come out of poverty in the kingdom of God if he does what God wants him to do. Now, power in the Greek word is called dynamics. It's called what? It means ability to effect change. That's the power. Ability to effect what? God said, I've given you the power and the ability to effect a change. No matter the environment, no matter the economy, no matter if you are prayed by the covenant of God. So here. I mean, understand what the term it is. So it's not for you to quote it. It's not for you to recite it. It's for you to understand it. So here. Now I'm going to dissect the word power. Let me do the key word. I'm going to take the P O W E R and I break it down so you understand. I give you what? Power. So how do I connect with God's abundance? The P stands, means plants. Means what? That word P means plants. A plan is a thought or purpose. If you must be wealthy, you must have a plan. You must have a what? Or you must know the purpose why you need to be wealthy. So here. In A, I say you must have what? Plans. Proverbs 21 verse 5. I'll read the New King James Version for better understanding. The New King James Version. Where they just say the thoughts. Tell so it together. I want to go. The plans of the diligent lead surely to what? Do you hear that? The pl- both those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. So to prosper and succeed, you must have a goal. You must have what? A goal. Plans give you power. Plans give you what? I must have a plan. What is your plan now? Many of you have no plans. Oh God, just give me money. Just God, give me money. No, you must have a what? A plan. That's where prosper. You must have a plan. What is your plan? To promote his kingdom? To bless humanity? To bless the poor? What is it? To, to, what is the plan? What is your plan? To live your life? Just getting money and be spending? No. What is your plan? So here. B. The next word is what? The word O is organization. Is what? Organization. Develop short and long time goals. Develop what? In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, it said, God answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run. That what? That means plan. That means what? Plan. It said, Write the vision. That means. Make it. Organize your life. Organize what? Don't live your life without organization. Organize your life. Organize it yourself. People who are not organized, you will know. After you have your plans, organize it. Write down what you want to do. Record in the scriptural. Is what? Record. What do I do with social time? What do I go with social time? Write it down. Do you want to prosper? Write what you want to do. The business, when will the business, how do you want to do it? Rec- record, document it. Do you know you have to document it in money? Hope you know. When money comes, document it. Document, I have 50,000. Out of 50, 10 is for tithe. I'm not going to answer, 5,000 is for tithe. So, so is for offering. This is, if you don't document, your spending rate will be casual. People who document know where they are overspending. They give me every quarter a comprehensive report of this communal commission so we know where we are spending and the advice this area is. That's what you do. It's a right division. Okay, what do you want to do next year? It's not written down. Is that you want to prosper? Nothing written down. Anytime we God bless me. No, no, no. That's nonsense. That's what? Write it down. My salary is 120. I must not spend above 80,000 per month. 40 should be reserved. I'm not giving an instance. After kingdom investment, feeding, this money should be reserved. That is, that is how people want to prosper, live their lives. You know, it will be. See, what's the next word? W means work. Means what? Work. If you want to prosper, you must work. Proverbs 13 verse 11. 
Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. But he that gathered by worth, labor shall increase. Proverbs 10 verse 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent make it rich. Organize well and work out your plans. If you want to prosper, say work. Say work. I was aboard a flight. My wife would tell you, divide the flight hours so the hours we spent about 80% to 70% I was working on the plane. Because when, I'm, when I like flying, I like working on when I'm flying because nobody talks to you, no phone call, no distraction. You can walk. I like to walk when I'm on plane. Most times you find out that distractions are too much in the day. True? Either somebody's calling you, somebody's distracting you. Oh, my problem here. Oh, problem. I like walking when I'm on. I can never fly without walking. You see, anytime I'm flying, I must be walking. Either I'm reading or I'm walking. So, God believes in work. God believes in what? For me to have four services and not repeat anything, you, you don't just jump from the sky to. You must read fast. You must read what? You, all the first times I'm not repeating any message. All the messages are different towards one direction. If you don't walk, you can't preach like that. You'll be preaching one message and be speaking English. You drink one water and say, someone shout yeah. One of the signs of my was not read is you have a shout yeah, you shout the service is over. You meet a man who reads. He, he, you have something new. You have something every day. So here. So we say, Pastor, that work is simple. I say, try my time. Tell you what time. It's simple for those do you know personal work is more tedious than academic work? Academic work, four years, you graduate, you go and work. Personal work, you have to come fresh every day. So you read till you die. You know, you, most of you have told me this since you graduated, true? This one, because you might even come next week again, I preach the same thing, or last week, last month, I preach the same thing. Will you come to this church? You say, look, Papa, 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 last week you tell us the same thing I want to tell us. For what? Yeah, it's new every... Even if I preach the same topic, I must come from another angle. Say what? Tell them I walk. Work. Tell them I walk. Tell them I walk. To prosper, I have to work. Say one more time. Is there no work? Great work. D. Where's the next word? Is enthusiasm. That means be sold out to your work. Enthusiasm means be sold out what? That's the meaning of enthusiasm. Be sold out to your work. That is whatever you are doing, do it well. In Colossians 3, 22, 23, amplified, amplified version, amplified. Servants, in everything obey those who are your masters on earth, not only with external service as those who merely please people, but with sincerity of heart because of your fear of God. Look at verse 23. That's the key verse. Want to go? Whatever you do, Whatever your task may be, work from the soul. That is, put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for man. Enthusiasm also means pursuit. Also means what? That means anything you're doing, put in your best. Now this morning, I did something. I worked last night when I came back from travel outside the country, my wife and I, by this, I was studying again. By this morning, I found out that I had some new things. I had to add more things to the message I was to preach today. This morning, because some fresh inside. As I was studying this morning, I got light, which I will teach later, not today, from Second Corinthians. I've never seen that kind of light from Second Corinthians nine, from verse six. I would dissect it to ten to twenty different points. I saw light from that scripture which is not today's teaching. As I said, I prepared heavily. Cook it. Well chored. Well what? For next time. Enthusiasm is you putting what? Your best. Putting your what? Your best. You are sold out to your assignment. You are sold out to your what? You are sold out to whatever you are doing. You are not doing it any how. Say so here. And R means rewards. Means what? Rewards. 
First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 14. Shall we do it together? One to go. If any man's walk, if any man's walk abide, which he may have built thereon, he shall receive a reward. Rewards, reward means paid for work. It means what? And the words mean paid for work. God pays you when you put in your best. Is that true, sir? So the word for abundance is to properly plan, number one. Properly what? Have good organization. Diligently work it out. And be enthusiastic about it. Then the reward is sure. Are you getting ideas? Work out your plan. Then organize the plan. Put in your best. And be sold out. Be what? And then the reward will come. Say here. Shout a big hallelujah. But hear this and hear me well. I'm going somewhere. We're in an age where we celebrate skill, celebrate strength, celebrate everything, expertise. But there's a God factor. There's a what? We are this age where skill is highly celebrated. Where strength is, you know, I know all with who. But Bible said, by strength shall no man prevail. First Samuel 2 verse 9. Where we be that, you know, the willpower I have, I must make it happen. Hmm? And in Romans 9 verse 16. So then it's not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showed what? So your will to is not enough. You say, well, my skill, I'm very skillful. I'm very what? If skill is all it takes, I've seen very skillful people who are not making it. I've seen first class students who are looking for money. So it's not, it's not all about that. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, not yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of what? Skill. But time and chances happen to them all. <laughs> so I want to the seven, one and two. Except the Lord build the heart, the labor in vain, that what? Except the Lord keep the city, the which men walk in the is vain. It is vain, verse two. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat bread of sorrows, for he giveth his beloved sleep. Shout hallelujah. Yes, there's a place for hard work. But hard work without the hand of God, not it will work. Hard work without the hand of God, nothing will work. Yes, you're working hard. But you need the hand of God to make things work. That's where I'm coming now. So you don't just over-celebrate what you know. Now, let me tell you something. So what is it that will finally connect me to the practical prosperity by faith? Paul speaking said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So there's a grace factor. There's a what? Grace factor. And grace is not working on its own without faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that commands to God must what? Believe that the word of them would diligently seek him. Now, in my studies, I'm not going to teach it today deeply. If this 2 Corinthians 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, he said, But I say, He that swears fairly shall live fairly, he that swears bountifully shall live bountifully. Every man according to his born in his heart, so let him give, not gradually, nor for the but God loveth the traffic giver. Look at this. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency, in all things, may abound to every word. God says, I have grace to make you. What is a good work? There was a man in the Bible called the rich fool. He, he was not in any good work. Grace was given to him, but he was not in any good work. So he died. God killed him because he said, you will die this night. When God gives you grace for wealth and you are not a distributor, you will die. He said, the reason why there has to be a distributive channel for the grace to keep growing. Is that true, sir? Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm? I pray someone understand here. So, while all these things are together, I must also know that I must connect back to God who is the source of my prosperity. Are you getting where I'm going? 
Glory to God. And you can't connect to God without faith. Without what? And the faith has to be that I must sow seed in faith to believe that God will make me succeed. Are you getting me, sir? Glory to God. 